well we had a great time last summer working out how to sail this new boat and getting a big list together of stuff that needed doing so winter's here and we best get on with it well the to-do list over winter is long and a manifold possibly the most pressing problem is the mast bit of damage on there and uh, that needs sorting out but it's a big job so I think I'm, uh, I'm going to tackle something a little bit easier to start with namely the bowsprit now I took delivery of Vicar last summer um, and it had a new bowsprit the the old one had had a major problem um, and the previous owner had commissioned a new bowsprit uh, made of oak <laughs> It's quite an impressive piece of wood. It's uh, immensely strong um, and very heavy. It looked lovely when I put it on. Um, I think it was lightly oiled, but otherwise untreated. By the end of summer, it was starting to go black and it, clearly I needed to, uh, to seal it and sort it out properly. So oak's far more coarsely and open grained than uh, spruce. And as you can see, there are quite a few um, shakes and, and splits along the, uh, the bowsprit. I'm pretty sure it's not structural, um, but clearly I need to um, I need to seal it and stabilize it a little bit. And also in a way that doesn't make it look like a beam from the local pub. The guys at Bayside Chandlery in Brixham have recommended this stuff to me, the Bonder wood seal, on the basis that it's uh, easy to put on, flexible or reasonably flexible compared with varnish. Um, and should span the coarse grain and, and splits in the oak quite well. Uh, it seems really easy to put on. In fact, it's soaking in really nicely. Um, it cures really quickly. Uh, it can be put on at low temperatures and high humidities, which sounds like where we live. Uh, in fact, can do the whole thing in, uh, in an afternoon. I, I know there's going to be lots of people um, making comments that I, I really ought to be sending it to an inch of its life and uh, uh, spending the rest of my life putting 25,000 coats of varnish on so it looks perfect for a weekend. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. This looks like a far better solution. They recommend three coats. Um, applied when it's tack dry um, which takes about half an hour per coat the whole thing's done in about two hours and then it's apparently um, tack free after an hour and a half after that and um, cured in 24 hours and chemical resistant in 72 hours so we'll see what happens I sealed the end grains with um, with epoxy. That's going to be painted over anyway. Just got to clean up the galvanised fitting a little bit now. Um, give it a quick polish. I'm using this Autosol product. It, it appears to be absolutely identical to the Autosol you buy for your car in the garage. With the added benefit, of course, of being far more expensive. Because they've had to print the word marine on it. Well, that's enough maintenance for now. I'd far rather be sailing. This is us coming back from a picnic at Blackpool Sounds at the start of last summer. My intention is to create a lot more content about using and enjoying the shrimper rather than just painting it. Uh, if that sounds good to you, then please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.